that song all day long, every day. Yeah, we give you praise. The next one coming up is See His Glory. And that's something we always want to envision is the, the presence of the Lord. You know, we want to see His glory. We want to have it in our heart, have it in our head, uh, realize it in our body, uh, know that it's everywhere, filling the universe. Uh, uh, because he lives, uh, we can face tomorrow. Uh, and it's, it's so amazing, so amazing. Father, uh, bless this time in, in Jesus' name. Uh, we honor your presence in this house and in the, the whole earth, Lord. Uh, be glorified in the whole earth, Lord. Uh, receive uh, honor and thanks and praise, power and dominion. Uh, it's all yours, Lord. You are the Lord. There's none like unto you. We worship you this day. We thank you for all you are and all that you do, Lord. And you're so good, so good to us in so many ways. Just came to thank you. We believe, Lord, in you. We honor you. Uh, we honor your presence. We honor your promises. Uh, we, we believe uh, because uh, you are who you say you are. You do what you say you'll do. And uh, Father, we we thank you for for that. Uh, you are true. Lord, uh, you, you are with us uh, forever. You love us with an everlasting love that never changes, Lord. You're, you will never leave us or forsake us. Um, you won't, uh, um, we won't fear about anything in life for you have set us free uh, in you to delight in your presence and your promises to live our life to your glory, to be witness and testimony, a light for you and to tell your story. All around, uh, we see many things happening, Lord, uh, but we know that you are happening uh, and we don't see you, but we know you are there for we know uh, that uh, your presence, your promise is all we need uh, for uh, there is nothing that can compare with you, Lord. And so our eyes are fixed upon you this day and Lord, help us not to stray away from uh, all that you have prepared for this day and to get sidetracked and and distracted by things around, uh, but to know that you are around. And that's all we need to know, Lord. Uh, you are here. You are here in our midst, where two or three are gathered in your name. You're here in, in our midst. Show yourself mighty, show your glory, show your presence and honor your story. Uh, for, Lord, let it be on our lips forevermore uh, that you have everything in store for your people, for your people who love you. Uh, we love you. We believe in you. And therefore, we say, praise be the name of Jesus forevermore. For the Lord is our God, and he is faithful and true. Help us always to be faithful and true to you. Lord, you, you are our Lord in every way. We say thank you, thank you, thank you for being so good in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. I want to, uh, as the Lord would have it, honor uh, a dear sister in the Lord who uh, has gone to Jesus. Uh, uh, her name was Barbara. She's uh, one of our uh, uh, missionaries up in uh, Eastern Canada. She went to uh, uh, 
the uh, Indian folk that uh, uh, most folk, uh, you know, didn't really uh, do much with, but she did. She loved, she cared, she devoted her life to uh, loving those people. And so, uh, Barbara, uh, we're awaiting to be with you in paradise, so rejoice. Well done, sister, in Jesus' name. Finished the course and fought the good fight of faith and uh, they're sitting with Jesus now, uh, you know, risen. You know, while you're in this body, uh, Paul talks about you're absent from the Lord. Uh, but uh, it's, um, you're with the Lord now uh, as well. Uh, but it's a different, it's, say, different. It's different. Um, and uh, uh, we don't know what paradise is going to be, but it's, it's got to be really good. Uh, uh, really good. Uh, so say, I have a hope in a future to look forward to because Jesus is risen. Yes, he is. Give it to the Lord a shout of triumph. Uh, give you praise, Father, all you are and all you do. Thank you, Lord. It's uh, so wonderful when, when you think about it. Um, you know, we're, we're born into this earth uh, to physically to have the opportunity to be born again of God's spirit and have his life uh, forever. So as such, um, the day we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, uh, we were uh, born again uh, of heaven uh, spiritually. Uh, and as such, we were actually uh, raised from the dead um, because our spirit, uh, which was dead to the Lord uh, because of the fall of Adam and Eve and, and sin uh, came into the world, uh, sin, it means separation, amartaro, uh, to Greek, uh, shoot the arrow, miss the mark, uh, fall short. All of sin, fallen short of the glory of God. Uh, everyone was a sinner. Uh, there's none that did good, no, not one, uh, except the Lord Jesus, um, uh, who became a man for us. And no, he was the Lord of the universe, the creator God, but he loved us so much he didn't want us to perish. And, and so he, he um, uh, came for us to save us, uh, born of a virgin. Everything about Jesus is supernatural. The Lord was his father. And uh, as the Lord is now our father in, in Jesus Christ. Uh, and uh, he, he lived a perfect life, uh, just tempted as we are, went through all the things that we go through, uh, but he overcame and uh, will overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony uh, to the glory of God. Um, and uh, as, as we look at things, um, as was shared uh, eloquently by the Holy Spirit in the first service, uh, you know, the, because he is risen, uh, our faith is not in vain. Uh, and he's the firstborn uh, from the dead, uh, and we will follow in kind uh, with a physical resurrection uh, to match the spiritual that we are. Uh, in Christ Jesus. So when we were born again, our spirit came alive to the Lord. It was dead. And now uh, we uh, live in the life and promises that the Lord has given to us. Uh, and we can participate with him in his divine nature, Second Peter 1. Uh, and he's supplied everything that we need for life and for godliness as his children now. Before you're born again, you're not a child of God. You're a child of the devil. You're under the devil's uh, rule. 
But now uh, as we have received Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we received uh, what the cross was all about, why Jesus came, he shall save his people from their sins and remove all the separation between us and the Father. And so uh, that's why Jesus says you don't have to go through an intermediary, you don't have to go through a saint or Mary or anybody else, um, Uncle Henry, to get to the Lord. Uh, you know, your wealth, your fame, your fortune, you know, all that you used to be, um, couldn't earn you uh, spiritual blessing. It's a gift of God. Salvation is a gift of God, freely given, uh, but it costs the Lord uh, to save us. Uh, he was the ransom for us on the cross. And, and he's not on the cross anymore, uh, he is risen. He is risen indeed, and he's ascended back to his place as Lord of Lords and King of Kings, the Lord of the universe, and someday he's going to come back and, and um, receive us all who have believed upon the name of Jesus and have uh, kept his commandments. If you love me, Jesus says, you keep my commandments. Uh, I'm your Lord and you're my children. And uh, oh, how, how wonderful that is. Forever, this is forever. Everything about the Lord is forever. Uh, he, he's good. But uh, we're not worshiping Jesus the man, we're, we're Jesus, worshiping Jesus the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, uh, uh, the, the Lord of the universe. Um, and, and we'll behold his glory someday. Uh, Revelation 21, uh, 2, uh, face to face, we're gonna behold him. Uh, and in all his honor and all his glory. And that's why I love the book of Revelation because uh, it's the revelation of Jesus Christ, uh, who he is in his glorified state now as the Lord uh, of all. Um, and uh, it, it's, it's, it's just so uh, amazing. The Lord is concerned about life. Um, and uh, because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Uh, you know, all fear is gone. Uh, his perfect love has cast out all our fear, First John 4. We don't ever have to be afraid again. Uh, but, um, you know, the thief uh, tries to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus says, John 10, 10, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And, and that's what he's all about, his life in the living. Uh, Romans uh, 4 uh, talks about how uh, the Lord, uh, uh, well, uh, why don't we uh, turn over there for a moment and uh, take a look at that. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, and uh, pick up down at around uh, verse, uh, 16, therefore the promise comes by faith uh, so that it may be by grace and may be guaranteed to all Abraham's offspring. Uh, and this is where uh, Jew and Gentile com come together in the promises of Jesus. Uh, and not only to those who are on the, uh, of the law, but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham. Nobody could keep the, the law of God uh, perfectly. That's why Jesus had to come uh, to save us. And, and note, he put away um, uh, his uh, position as Lord uh, of the universe and became full man. Uh, see, and as he walked the earth, it's important to understand that, that he submitted himself to the Father just like we submit ourselves to the Father, the Lord Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Um, very important. And he walked this earth just like you and I do, uh, except he always did 
the will of the Father. Uh, he, he did not uh, uh, choose to do his old selfish ways. Say, I gave up my selfish ways when I received Jesus as my Lord and Savior. See, I'm not the Lord of my life anymore. Uh, you know, the, the master who determines my, my uh, outcome. Uh, no, I, I have uh, something much better. I, I have relationship now with the Lord Jesus Christ, not religion. It's not a form of godliness, but I got the real deal when Jesus came into my heart. See, uh, and all the trappings of the church don't matter. Um, you know, they're all just religious uh, activities. Um, we have relationship with Jesus based on the principles and word uh, promises of God. Uh, that's what our relationship is based on, is what Jesus has done for us, not what I have done for the Lord. Uh, how many understand? All right. Uh, see, I, I do works that follow, uh, but it's God's grace that saved me. Uh, his, his gift, grace, is ability and favor. Uh, it's, uh, my faith is based on what Jesus has done, uh, not on what I have done. Uh, but when I have Jesus in my heart, not outside, inside. See, uh, how many know he's everywhere? But he's only in the hearts uh, of those who receive him and, and believe him. So the Lord could be everywhere around us, uh, but if he's not in our heart, then we're not one with him. How many understand? Uh, people talk about being one with the universe and all these whoo spiritual things out there. Uh, but let me tell you, if you don't have the life of God in you, the resurrected power of the Lord, uh, see, uh, that's the New Testament began at the resurrection uh, of Jesus. Uh, if you don't have that resurrected life and power in you, then, then you're not his. How many understand? Uh, that's very important. See, because uh, as uh, nobody could keep the law of God, not that the law was evil or bad. It was good. It was given in God's love. Uh, but the problem was uh, people's fallen nature uh, could do nothing but sin because it was dead to the Lord. But now in Christ Jesus, we're alive to the Lord. Since you then be risen with Christ, set your heart, your mind on things above, not on things beneath. Our position is in heaven. We are ambassadors for Christ in this earth to do two things, spread the gospel, the good news of Jesus, and to live a life like Jesus lived on the earth, loving and caring for the people, respecting and honoring everybody, uh, desiring that everybody have all that the Heavenly Father has for them in Jesus. And that's our, our message, that's our testimony is what the Lord ha has done uh, and is doing uh, for us, in us, through us, and has done for everyone. He uh, did it for everybody. Uh, but they have to receive that good news. And how will they hear except somebody tell them? Say, the Lord's given me a big mouth. And the power of the Holy Spirit to become his witnesses to the uttermost parts of the earth and to reach the people he's given us to reach in, in our daily lives. Thank you, Jesus. Very exciting to see. And, and so uh, it, it says there uh, at the end of 16, but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham, he is the father of us all. Now you remember uh, when Jesus walked the earth as a man, by the power of the uh, Holy Spirit, uh, 
he uh, was encountered many times by people out there uh, who, who said, well, you're just receiving glory to yourself, you know. And See, but Jesus knew the works I do, uh, the, the Father is doing them uh, in me and through me. Uh, and he always gave the glory to, to the Lord. Um, in the same way, John 14, 12, Jesus says to them who believe the works I do, you will do, and even greater works than these you're going to do because I go to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do it, uh, the Lord uh, Jesus says, uh, that the Father be glorified in the Son. See, and, and this is very important. And so you understand that if Jesus had not been raised from the dead by the power of the Father, um, the Lord confirming his promise, uh, our faith would be in vain and, and we'd be hopeless and helpless. And uh, how many understand? All right. And, and that's uh, uh, where the disciples were. Uh, when uh, it came time uh, for Jesus to suffer and to die. Uh, we'll, we'll go there in just a moment, but I want to have you grab verse 17 here. Uh, but note, people who don't have Jesus don't have the Heavenly Father, and the Lord is not their Father, as the world says. You know, everybody, all the roads lead to God, and uh, you know, no, they don't. Only one road leads to the Lord, and that's through faith in Jesus Christ. Uh, and in his salvation is a gift from God, contrary to the religious teaching in uh, many of the churches out there uh, today. Uh, and the Lord is doing a new reformation in these end times to save all these people uh, uh, from their uh, uh, false beliefs. How, how many understand? Uh, many will say to me in that day, uh, as Jesus is talking about his return, Lord, Lord, didn't we do this in your name and that in your name? And he'll say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I don't know who you even are. Um, yet uh, they profess Jesus, um, but they're saved by how many hails they say uh, and how many uh, religious works uh, they do. Um, and uh, they're still uh, just a sinner saved by grace. Uh, no sinner is going to enter into life with uh, the Lord. Hebrews 12 talks about uh, without holiness, uh, nobody will see the Lord. And people will say, oh, no, then there's no chance for me. No, Jesus, who was holy, gave us his holiness through the blood of Jesus. Give him praise. He made us holy. He made us holy, see? And that's what we've got to understand. It's not uh, me by my uh, religious uh, actions. In vain you do worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. Uh, see, uh, you worship me with your lips, but your heart's far from me, the Lord says. See, because you're still desiring the things uh, of self. Uh, seeking to save your own life. Uh, you fear for your life. Uh, you'll lose your life, Jesus says. Uh, uh, you lose your life for my name's sake. You gain your life. Uh, you're not uh, ashamed of the gospel of Christ and who you are as a Christian. You're not afraid when the world uh, will persecute you and for the glory of God rests upon you because if they did it to Jesus, they'll do it to us because uh, who's in us? The risen Lord Jesus Christ. See, uh, because he's risen, we're risen. And, and he's given us his very great and precious promises that we might participate with him in the divine nature. That means overcoming everything um, that comes along the way. 
Um, again, the thief tries to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Um, and whatever the devil throws at, at people, uh, and he's after the believers, understand, okay? First uh, Peter 5, uh, uh, 8 and 9. Uh, and he, he wants to remove them uh, because they're doing damage to his kingdom. Uh, and he's fallen, he, he's uh, lost, uh, he, uh, the cross exposed him to an open shame, Colossians talks about. Um, he uh, um, lost uh, all the people who have received Jesus as their Lord and Savior, believed on him. He lost the, all of them, and he hates a believer. How many understand? As he hates the Lord, uh, because we are God's children through faith in Jesus Christ. Uh, and uh, he, he's come uh, to uh, destroy. But so what? Say, so what? All right. See, as it is written, I've made you a father of many nations. Uh, he is our father in the sight of God in whom he believed the God who gives life to the dead and calls things that are not as though they were. All right, you wanna circle that, it's very important because that's how we live as Christians, um, believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, though we die, yet shall we live. I am the resurrection and the life, uh, John 11, uh, Jesus. Uh, he or she who lives and believes in me, though they die, yet shall they live. He or she who lives and believes in me, though uh, will never die, never die. Say, so we don't die. Death is part of the curse. Uh, sin, uh, the wages of sin is death. The Lord changed our nature and our spirit came alive to God. So we're not a sinner anymore. Okay, and as I shared earlier there, are no sinners gonna be with the Lord. Jesus came to take all our sins away. Say everyone. Now, if we as uh, believers should sin, which is not the norm now, because we're not sinners, Say, Jesus made me a saint. All right, when does sin come? When we're thinking about ourselves. All right, who are we to be thinking about? The Lord, set your mind, your heart on the things above, not on the things beneath. In the world, but not of it. We're ambassadors for the Lord to a foreign world. This is a foreign world. Uh, this is a fallen world. And it's gonna crash horribly uh, as the word of God has said. And everything will happen just the way the Lord said it. And it's already happening, friends. Uh, the wrath of God that Revelation talks about is already being poured out on the earth. But the believers will be kept from it read the word of the Lord for this year. Uh, and that's what it's about. Uh, and and you just keep watching, okay? Because uh, the year has just begun and it's already happened, all right? So stay tuned. But the Lord will keep those who are in him uh, from all these things. Why? Be not overcome of the world, by the world, but overcome. How? In the spirit. All right, be not overcome of evil, Romans 12, but, but overcome the evil with good. What's good? Believing the Lord and doing what he says. All right, his promises are faithful and true. And, and that's how we have to live our life. Know what the Lord says. My people perish for lack of knowledge, Hosea 4, 6. But then you don't want to get it. He's talking uh, to ministers there. 
All right. Uh, now there, everybody has a word today. Everybody thinks they're uh, a prophet or whatever. Uh, you know, but understand uh, the Lord's word is true and will come to pass. All right. Just like he said it. All right. Uh, I wouldn't believe a thing I said if it wasn't that I'm speaking what God says. I may understand. Of course, everybody says that, all right? Thus saith the Lord. Yeah, well, uh, does it come to pass, all right? How many know Daniel, along after him, some of the words he gave uh, by the Spirit of God still haven't happened, but they're true, and they will happen, all right? How many understand? All right, but some are very obvious, like people are predicting who, who's going to be in office and, and this and that, and then it doesn't happen, and then they change their mind and say, well, it must have been the person that was running's fault, uh, you know, cause, uh, or somebody's fault that it didn't happen. How many know when the Lord says, thus saith the Lord, it's got to happen just the way the Lord says it? Can't be excusing it away, huh? Oh my goodness. All right. See, what, what, what kind of word and promise is that? See, I'm, he's a God of the living, gives life to the dead, calls things that are not as though they were, and against all hope, Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations, just as it had been said to him. So shall your offspring be. How do you like that? Hoped against hope. Now, we're gonna look at that for a, a few moments here, because this is critical uh, to where we're at in time. It was critical back then, it's critical today. It's relevant to all time in this dispensation before Jesus comes back. After Jesus comes back, there will be no more evil, no more sin, uh, no more uh, devil, no more devils. Uh, no more unbelievers, uh, no more uh, sickness, disease, poverty, depression, anxiety, fear, worry, commotion, confusion, wars, etc., etc., and no more death. And it'll all be thrown in the lake of fire with the devil and, and uh, all the cowards uh, who. who uh, uh, relinquish their faith in Jesus uh, and uh, sought to save their lives. Um, Revelation 21 talks about um, all uh, will be gone. See, uh, so uh, these words that we share today, I may know the gospel won't be preached in the new heaven and new earth. No need for it, all right? It, it will be uh, not needed that uh, people need to receive their salvation in Jesus because they'll be all saved. How many understand? Okay, simple enough. All right, they've believed the testimony of the Lord and followed it, all right? Thank you, Lord. How will they hear except somebody tell them? We weren't there when, when it happened, but it's been passed down uh, and we believe it. Uh, Paul, Paul talks about, uh, I, I believe, therefore I speak. And what did he speak? He speak, speak <laughs> spoke the gospel. He spoke the gospel, the good news of the love of God for the people that if whosoever believes in the Lord Jesus and receives his words and his uh, life uh, promises uh, will not perish, but will have everlasting life. If you confess with your mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart, he's risen from the dead, you'll be saved, Romans 10. 
See, isn't that exciting? Not by uh, religious works, not by religious deeds. How many uh, know that Good Friday uh, is a good day? Uh, all right, uh, but there's nothing special about it uh, because uh, it didn't happen that way. It was changed by man uh, to uh, serve man's religious purposes, changing God's holy Sabbath, seventh day Sabbath from Sabbath, uh, Friday dust, Saturday dust, to Sunday, all right? And you know, uh, yesterday I, I had the privilege, uh, I've, I've had somebody uh, monitoring me uh, uh, every week, uh, looking at all my blood pressures and weight and, and uh, uh, how I'm uh, doing and feeling and whatnot, faithful, I mean, uh, uh, the Lord's care. Uh, through through people and and uh, it's gone on for um, uh, several months now and 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 yesterday as I was sharing uh, with them everything uh, they said well uh, are are you going to church uh, tonight uh, you know good Good Friday uh, and and there was my Holy Spirit opportunity. <laughs> All right, and, uh, and I began to share with them that, uh, uh, how many days do you count? Uh, Jesus was three days and three nights uh, in, in uh, the sign of Jonah in the belly of the fish uh, in, in the grave, right? Everybody knows that, three days, three nights, right? Right? Yes. Hands, come on, talk to me. All right, yes, everybody knows that. Well. Count from Friday night to Saturday night to Sunday night. He'd be up from the grave on Monday night. Huh? Somebody missed it. All right. So what, what do we do? Well, how many know when the girls went to the grave uh, on s Sunday morning? Uh, to prepare Jesus for his burial, all right? In those days, uh, it'd be like embalming him, uh, uh, their idea of it. Uh, he wasn't there. They didn't go believing to the tomb. And I was sharing with, with the person there about how I don't go to sunrise services anymore. And, you know, because uh, you know, I was up there years back with all the ministers on the hill, and we're doing sunrise service, and and the Lord spoke to me. He said, "Son, what are you doing here?" You know, and I said, "Well, I'm celebrating your resurrection with uh, all the other churches and and uh, ministries and people." And he said, "Well, you know." that when the ladies came on uh, uh, Sunday morning, uh, I wasn't there. Uh, and and what the angel say? Why do you seek the living amongst the dead? He is risen just like he said. See? Just, just like here in Romans, uh, what, what, it, what, it, what it say, huh? Thank you, Lord. He is risen. We're God's uh, offspring, Abraham, man of faith, and I've made you father many nations in the sight of God, in whom he believed, the God who gives life to the dead calls things that are not as though they were. Just like he said. Now, think about it. Think about it. What happened with the disciples at that point earlier in Gethsemane? 
All right, where it all started to roll down. Jesus had told them about what was going to happen two, three times. I'm going to suffer, go to Jerusalem. I'm going to suffer and uh, there, and I'm going to die on the cross, and, and then on the third day, I'll be risen from the dead. And remember, Peter says, no, Master, you don't uh, need to go to the cross. And Jesus said, get behind me, Satan. You desire the things of man, not the things of God. Well, what was the desire uh, of the disciples? They didn't want him to leave them, right? Anybody relate to those kind of desires? All right, you don't want somebody to leave. You know, I had a whole lot of folks, you know, thinking that when I, I was going through things here. But how many know Jesus was in the perfect will of the Lord as he went through all the things he went through? The Lord was with him, never left him, loved him, uh, wouldn't forsake him. The psalmist talks about hundreds of years before about uh, prophesying about how the Lord won't leave his son in the grave. See? Uh, but see, people, um, feelings, you know. We, we think, uh, anybody th think thoughts? All right, remember, uh, uh, the Lord's made me the master of the obvious question. All right, yeah, well, what kind of thoughts are we thinking? See, where are we going? See, and, and a lot of folk uh, spend their whole lives reacting to uh, situations and circumstances uh, that, that are, are happening to them, around them, uh, they're real, uh, and a lot of them aren't real. What if? Anybody ever do the what if thinking? All right, and it's negative. Well, what if you never got sick again? Uh, what if you were going to live forever? What, what if uh, uh, you would always have provision uh, for your life? See, well, those are all promises of God that the Lord says that he will supply. He will provide. He will look out for us. We, we don't want to get into strife and, and uh, uh, you know, uh, enmity with anybody. We don't want any evil thoughts, uh, malicious thoughts in our hearts or minds. Um, you know, well, I'm so alone. Well, what the Lord say? I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. What was happening? You were coveting something else that you wanted to have happen in your life. But it doesn't always happen the way you think. Anybody found that out yet? Uh, great revelation. Uh, it doesn't always work the way you think. Well, that's why... The Lord doesn't want us thinking outside of his word and promise. How many understand? He wants us thinking on his principles and his promises and who he is. We just did a, a new book on, on the real Lord of Job. Uh, it's on the line, glorytogod.org. Uh, we're looking to put it into physical print uh, uh, here, and special offerings are going towards that because people have to really realize who the Lord really is. Job didn't have a clue, how many understand? I'd heard about you with the hearing of the ear, he said, but now I know who you really are. See, the Lord had revealed it to him. And, uh, and how many know he never had an issue the rest of his whole life? <laughs> Spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, or relationship. 
His family were even bringing him uh, uh, presents. Say, that's a miracle. They were always looking for a handout before. Uh, you know, yeah. wow. But look at what the Lord did. And so what you, what you have is these fellows' lives were all about Jesus, depending on Jesus. But really, their whole lives were still about themselves, weren't they? All right. Now, if Jesus left, then they saw no future. They saw no hope. Am I stating it true? All right. And Jesus says to Peter, get behind me, Satan. You desire the things of man, not the things of the Lord. Because the purpose of Jesus' entire life coming from birth to death to resurrection to ascension uh, was to fulfill the plan of the Lord to save us all. You shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Separation from the Father. And he brought us in relationship with the Father. And that's what church is all about. It's not about, uh, you know, like a social club, or it's not about, you know, uh, do good or people doing all these little things that they do. Uh, how many know Jesus only fed the folk twice in his whole ministry? Uh, and that was because they were at church all day and, and uh, uh, he had compassion on them because they were, they were hungry. Uh, see, we're not here to save the world. Uh, Jesus already did that. Uh, we're, we're here to spread the gospel uh, that's going to get people saved. The promises of God are what the poor need. How many understand? Blessed are the poor in spirit. It doesn't say blessed are the poor. The, uh, the word of God says the poor are cursed. See, and why do they not have? Well, multitude of reasons. Uh, they're not honoring the Lord. They're, they're doing their own thing. In fact, a lot of them just love their, uh, the way they are. I don't have any responsibility. Uh, you know, I'm living off of everybody else. Uh, see, well, sorry to say, uh, veterans uh, should have more benefits than people that come in without citizenship. How many understand? Now, people are going to argue and fight with me over that one. But think about it. If you're not a citizen of heaven, then you have no rights as far as the Lord says, to anything of heaven. But if you receive Jesus, the Lord's one and only provision for life and citizenship with heaven and the Lord, then you have all the rights of heaven are yours in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Okay? Think about it. See, so if Jesus was gone, all the disciples' whole life, uh, and note, they left everything to follow Jesus. And how many know they never lacked for anything while they followed Jesus? Right? Okay? Now think on this. You know, get this down deep inside. All right? And so it came time uh, and uh, Jesus was going freely to, to the cross. Uh, the lamb led to the slaughter. The perfect lamb of God. Uh, innocent completely. He didn't rail, uh, uh, rail back at the people. He didn't return insult for insult. He, he didn't threaten them. My daddy is going to beat up on you and, and bad things are going to happen to you if you do bad stuff to me. Uh, you know, he, he didn't do any, any of that. He, he was silent. Uh, 
because he was in the perfect will of God. The Father was with him. He was going to be the perfect sacrifice to save all of us. See, and, and, and that's, that's the way it was going down. Uh, and and uh, nothing in hell can stop the plan of the Lord. Uh, how many understand? See, uh, that's why the devil tried so hard to keep Jesus from the cross. Um, and and uh, and people have have uh, uh, sitting in churches have have uh, gotten a wrong uh, thought about it. Yes. He suffered and died on, on the cross for us. Um, he shed his life for us. But they, they look at all the torture and putting the cross, uh, crown of thorns on his head and the mocking and the spitting and the beating on him. And that's what they focus on. Uh, but Jesus did it joyfully submitted to the Father uh, to all this, uh, the righteous for the unrighteous, for the uh, joy that was set before him, Hebrews talks about, chapter 12. See, wow, he had a whole different outlook about things. Uh, it wasn't, oh man, I don't want to come and save all these people, just do away with them all. Start over, Lord. No, no, see, when the Lord says he loves you, he loves you. He's not throwing you away. Now, you might throw him away, uh, but he's not throwing you away, no matter what, what you've done. Uh, Jesus died to remove the, all the things off the slate. Say, not guilty. Not guilty. Hallelujah. Not guilty. And he took it all away. See, all the guilt, all the shame, all the condemnation. There's therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. He didn't remember your past. He doesn't dig up stuff from 20 years ago. All right. How is it that we remember that stuff? You know, you, you got to cultivate that evil thinking that keeps a record of wrongs. First Corinthians 13, uh, you know, the Lord keeps no record of wrongs. Uh, wow. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I, I, I used to, in, in, in counseling, and I'd, I'd have people write down 10 good things they see about the other person. And, and they'd be sitting there. <sighs> you know. <sighs> but then when I asked things that you see that aren't what you feel are good about the person, <laughs> you know. Right on it. Well, what, what uh, as a man or woman thinketh, so they are. Uh, what? Uh, you know, the Lord says there's only one judge, and that's the Lord. None of us qualify. Uh, you know, interesting. See, and, and, and so what you, what you see happen here uh, um, on the cross, Jesus is ministering while he's going through all this suffering. Uh, and uh, your heart breaks back, basically. Uh, you're on the cross. It, give, it gives out. Uh, you know, he, uh, he, he gave his life literally for us. And his blood is the offering that was necessary to pay the ransom from the devil. We have innocent blood. How many understand? And, and that broke the curse from the devil's rule because the d innocent blood was given and shed. Uh, see, say for me, for me, that I might be innocent and be not guilty anymore. 
and, and so thankfulness wells up in our hearts because uh, we could never pay that debt uh, that was owed. Uh, you know, uh, there's a belief system out there, it's a cult, uh, it's all big on Jesus and family, but one of its uh, leaders, uh, time past, said the blood of Jesus didn't atone for your sin. Uh, you have to atone with your own blood. I mean, you know, that's not gonna fly, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, but that's false teaching, what, what's out there, see. And people follow it, they believe in it, uh, you know, so. But uh, you gotta have the truth. And so I was sharing with this person the truth. I had an opportunity that, uh, you know, uh, the church changed, um, made Sunday the, the, the resurrection day. Uh, they can't count, um, and uh, of course they had an agenda because they wanted to get rid of the Lord's Holy Sabbath, seventh day, uh, and uh, they, they changed it to Sunday, which is still being observed in most all churches. Uh, why don't they change back? That was the issue at the Reformation in the 1500s. The Catholic Church was saying to the Protestants, you say your Bible, Bible, nothing but the Bible. But on the issue of the Lord's Holy Sabbath, which you know was changed by papal decree, why don't you change it back to the truth? Good question. Say Holy Spirit question. All right, Luther never wanted to, uh, to uh, leave the church. He, he wanted to uh, change it. How many understand? Get it back to the Word of God. Justification by faith apart from the works of the law. See, the Lord, what he did, our faith is based on what Jesus did, not what we do. What we do would lead to damnation. Well, but Jesus changed us by what he did. And when you believe on him, your spirit instantly comes alive. Say, raised from the dead. I'm raised from the dead. And I have a whole new life. And we're gonna do a baptism today. When uh, that uh, person confesses with their mouth, Jesus is Lord, no, no baby can confess that. Um, they can't do any of that. Uh, they can't repent, Acts 2.38, repent and be baptized. See, but when they re repent, give up the old life, the old life was crucified with Jesus. Say, my old selfish life is dead, it's gone. And I have a new life. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. A resurrected life in the power of the resurrection that works in us now. Ephesians 3.20. Now to him who is able to do far more exceedingly abundantly more than anything that we can even ask or think about. According to what? The power that works in us. That's the resurrection power of God. Gives me the ability to not bat an eye at forgiving. You know, I've heard that so many times as a pastor, I just have such a hard time forgiving. Well, then you aren't relying on the power of the Lord in you to forgive. On the cross, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. He's ministering up there. Mom, Mary down there, uh, behold your son, John. John, your mother, he's taking care of his mom. I may understand. This is all going on on the cross. Uh, this is going on between the two uh, thieves that were guilty of death. Um, you know, one believes on Jesus, the other is mocking. The, the Lord doesn't listen to mocking. Uh, that, that person isn't gonna receive the life of heaven. Uh, how many know the Lord will let you go to hell? Uh, you know, you wanna do that? 
Uh, he did everything to save you. He's not going back again. And forget praying for the dead, as a lot of folk do in the churches, uh, trying to get them to get saved. No, uh, it's appointed for a man once to die, after that the judgment. All right, and immediately, based on what they've done with Jesus, they either go to paradise with the Lord or they go to the other place awaiting the final damnation with the devil and fallen angels, the, the lake of fire. See, um, you know, that praying for the dead isn't going to work. Um, Jesus went down and after his crucifixion, First Peter, it says he preached the gospel to those who had died before, from Adam on to the point of Jesus. And he gave them opportunity to believe on him and receive him, be born again. But that is, yeah, yeah, that is so awesome in the Lord's plan. See, because they all died uh, uh, looking forward uh, to a, a savior, but they hadn't realized him in their lifetime. Uh, and so the Lord in his loving plan doesn't leave anything out. Uh, and he gave opportunity to them. But say that was then and not now. After Jesus, people have opportunity through receiving the good news, the gospel uh, about the love of God that's theirs in Christ. And they just need to receive Jesus into their heart. Uh, but if they don't, when they die, that's it. It's over. Okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna understand. People have got to get serious about this. And the devil stepped up his campaign now. He's not messing around with people. Uh, he's just killing them out there. And you've seen since COVID, uh, you know, on, it's, it's stepped up. Uh, and just people are dying all over the place because uh, the devil doesn't want them being born again and having the life of heaven. See, thank you, Jesus, for the life of heaven. And so the disciples, uh, they went into this despair. Um, uh, you know, when Jesus said it's finished, what was finished? Not just his life, his mission. Say, we're all saved in Christ Jesus. Now, we just need to receive that. And you don't have to say any hail, anything. And by the way, if you're hailing anybody except Jesus, damnation is yours. You have false gods. Thou shall have no other gods before me. How many understand? Okay, very important. See, the time and tradition and man's commandments and ways have crept in and people have believed that they were true. I was one of them. I never hailed anybody but Jesus, but uh, uh, I, I was totally off on infant baptism I, that I was taught. Uh, Seventh-day Sabbath, uh, the Lord taught me about these things uh, so we could uh, share them uh, with others. Uh, but uh, I, I, as I was sharing with this person there uh, yesterday, you know, I was lied to by the church. And, and I, I don't, uh, my Lord never lies to me. Never. Nor can he. Uh, he is truth. The spirit of truth. Uh, and uh, I don't take it uh, very well being lied to. I told that to my children when they were uh, little. You know, never lie to me. Because uh, uh, I'm going to know the truth. Uh, how many know the birds talk to the kings, Proverbs talk about? All right. Yeah, the truth is going to come forth. There's nothing hidden that won't be revealed. 
And, and we got to take a good look at ourselves because a lot of folk uh, have a form of godliness that denies the power of godliness. And they're, and they're, and they're self-deceived and being lied to like the children of Israel who said, well, aren't we the Lord's children? He, he's going to give us the promised land. Well, he'd given it to them. But they didn't want it. They didn't believe to enter into his rest. How many understand? Uh, he forgave them, uh, but he never let them in. How many understand? All right. Uh, see, because all they wanted was what they wanted. They didn't want the, what the Lord had. It was all about them. See, a lot of people sit in church all about themselves. When they have problems, oh, they're in church. Uh, or calling in for something, but that's not true uh, a belief. How many understand? That, that's a, a phony. That's all about me. Uh, well, how, this is a revelation to many, uh, not, not just here, but uh, throughout the world, that Jesus is not a sugar daddy. Here to make your life comfortable and... and uh, Take care of you, all right? <laughs> That's fringe benefit. Uh, but that comes with, because he set his love upon me, Psalm 91, I will rescue. Where's the love got to be? First love, first love, before anybody, anything. It's got to be the Lord, out of thankfulness, because he first loved us. Thank you, Jesus. Say very, very imp important to understand. And, and so the disciples all fled and left Jesus. Did Jesus care about that? No. Because in whom did he trust? His Father in heaven. All right. Peter goes to the <laughs> extreme of denying him three times over the top on everything, uh, you know. Though everybody else leave you, I'll never leave you. Well, who left him three times? Uh, in fact, to the point, I don't even know who the man is. Now, wow. Okay, would you have said that at that point? See, well... Don't, don't be real quick on that one. All right. Uh, how, how quickly do people fear and worry and, and go and uh, act like they don't even have faith uh, when something happens? Uh, and and I'm, I'm not putting guilt or shame or, or condemnation. I'm just stating a fact. I may understand. Uh, we need to uh, be slow on that, to judge somebody else on what they're, what they're doing. Just pointing out the facts. Uh, see, very important. And I always put myself in there. Uh, see, yes, uh, you are there. All right, because the Word of God brings us there. It's the Lord's history. It's his story. Um, it's a separate history from the world out there. It's God's plan of salvation from cover to cover to lead us to Jesus and to show us who the Father is and what's our inheritance in Christ Jesus and all the exceeding great promises. And so they ran and hid. Uh, Say, I certainly don't want to hear uh, when the Lord comes back, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I don't know who you even are. Wow. You know, one time the, the Lord gave me an example many years back about how uh, people, you know, uh, stand before the Lord and and they, they say, well, I, I loved everybody, uh, Lord, except this one person I, I, had, I have issues with. And, uh, and the Lord speaks back, and this is the Holy Spirit is teaching for him here. 
uh, and, and he said, how, how would it be um, if I said to you, uh, I love everybody, except I got issues with you. <laughs> All right. Well, well, the way I read the word, if you don't forgive others, you won't be forgiven. As Christ is forgiven, so forgive. See? Whoa! That means they won't enter into the kingdom of heaven. Because they didn't love. First John uh, 5 talks about, you know, yeah, golly. Anybody got somebody out there that you don't want to think about? You want to kind of want them out of your, off your plate? No, it's not my responsibility. You know, well, they are, you know, you're responsible for what's going on and your attitude towards them. You can't control what others do towards you, but you can about what uh, you do. And if Jesus is your Lord and Savior, then he enables you, say grace, to forgive and to pray blessing and love that person. Thank you, Jesus. That's resurrection power, see? Raised from the dead in us. And so the disciples all hid uh, and, and uh, they were uh, seeking to save their lives. Remember what Jesus said, if you uh, uh, lose your life for my sake, you gain your life. But if you uh, seek to save your life, you'll lose your life. All right. Fear came in, uh, fear for their life. Uh, unbelief. They completely forgot about the resurrection. See, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, by the way, when he said it is finished, the graves opened up. Dead people uh, came, came alive. Uh, uh, lepers were healed. Uh, the, the temple curtain and all the religious stuff uh, that separated the people from the Holy of Holies was torn from the top down, say the Lord tore it up, uh, got rid of it. Uh, we can come boldly before the throne of grace because of the blood of Jesus with full confident assurance of faith. Now, uh, uh, you can sit up on your, your heavenly daddy's lap uh, any time, uh, you know, and, and, uh, and, and, and then he'll say, okay, uh, enough of that. Let's, let's go on and let's work together here uh, about getting other people into my kingdom. See, uh, thank you, Jesus. But uh, he determines that. I don't determine that, um, you know, because he loves with an everlasting love, not uh, based on emotion or circumstance or need. Um, how many know the Lord gave uh, 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 the cities to the one who had the most rather than the one who had uh, gotten rid of theirs? Okay, you got to use the talents, time, and treasure to the glory of God. Uh, see, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. Man's ways are not the Lord's ways, and the world cannot save itself, uh, and only Jesus can. Uh, I was, I was just, uh, I just heard that uh, I'm on a kind of a, uh, uh, a heart program uh, here, and the Lord has me going through this. I'm learning so oh, amazing things and having wonderful opportunities to uh, witness Jesus. Uh, and uh, but uh, the the author of the the plan that we're on committed suicide. Now this is a, a well-being, uh, a health and life program. And, and I whispered over to the fellow that was next to me, he didn't have Jesus. He needed Jesus. 
See, trying to save your life, to eat all the right stuff, do the, all the right exercise. I love the meditation session. Uh, but who taught uh, everybody meditation? It wasn't the ones you think. It was Jesus. <laughs> you know, if you meditate on my, my word, you'll be like a tree planted in the living waters. You know, you're going to prosper everything you do. See, because you're meditating on the Lord. See, who are you, what are you meditating on? See, a lot of people are meditating on their problems and their troubles and their sicknesses. That's what the devil wants you doing. Where's the resurrection power? Huh? Say, it's alive in me. Rise up in Jesus' name. All right, peace, joy, love, patience, kindness, gentleness, meekness, self-control, the healing power of God. Wealth cometh to me. All right, go ahead, money cometh to me. From the Lord, not for me, but to further his kingdom. And he takes care of me very well. See, you live your whole life about money. Well, you can't take it with you. And as my old joke goes, that I've been saying for years and years, thank God you're not married to the pharaohs because they bury you alive with them. <laughs> Whoa. Can't take it with you. You're gonna, you're gonna leave uh, this earth as you came in with nothing except Jesus, and that's everything. And that's how you want to leave this earth. See, and even when uh, the ladies came back from the the tomb, empty tomb and told uh, the disciples that Jesus had, had risen, you know what they said to him? You can check it out in the Gospels there. You're crazy. You are out of your minds, girls. You are out of your minds. And that's how a lot of folks sitting in church are. They're like those disciples. They're not believing what the Lord said. What the angel tell the girls? Why do you seek the living amongst the dead? He is risen just like he said. See. Just like he said. It has to be just the way the Lord said it, all right? And that's what I believe, and that settles it. I don't care what any preacher tells me if it's not what the Word of God tells me. I don't care what anybody thinks if it's not what the Lord Jesus says. I don't even listen to my own crazy thoughts, <laughs> which I cast down in Jesus' name because they're not the Word of God or certainly not the ones where I'm being whispered to, uh, you know, sweet nothings from the devil. All the time, uh, he's trying to take me out of the Word of God. But Jesus overcame Matthew 4, it is written. It is written, devil, it is written. This is what the Lord says. This is what I believe. And this is how I'm going to act accordingly. I don't care what I see. I don't walk by uh, sight. I walk by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The real reality will manifest in due season as I continue to believe the Lord and do what he says. How many understand? Okay. Wow. And even after they saw him uh, risen, uh, and Thomas put his hands, uh, you know, uh, 
you know, he, he was the big one, well, except I see, you know, uh, you know, uh, the ha holes, uh, I won't believe. And Jesus shows up and shows him the holes and says to him, blessed are those who have not seen yet still believe. All right, now, how's this work? Hebrews 11, one, I'll wrap it up here today. Faith in the Lord, the God faith, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. Say evidence. Stand up in court, evidence. All right. of what I don't see yet. All right. Now, this is why we have to know what the Lord says. Because when the disciples heard about Jesus being crucified, by the way, the most horrible of deaths reserved for the most horrible criminals, of their day, uh, and yet he was totally innocent. Uh, they gave up hope. They couldn't deter him from going to the cross any more than the believers could deter Paul from going to Rome. He was going to Jerusalem, he, and the, all the prophecies said you're going to experience persecution. But he knew the plan of God for his life and what he was supposed to do. You got to know the plan for your life. Uh, see, and when you know that, uh, you can go through hell and high water, good times and hard times, and, and uh, you'll, you'll be rock solid, floating down the river on your raft. Come what may, you know. You're in the Lord's hands, see? <laughs> and God's peace is with you and upon you, his blessing. Whether you live, you live to the Lord. You die, you die to the Lord. In any case, the Lord be praised. You're gonna, uh, uh, and you're going to finish what you're given to do. Thank you, Lord. It is finished. When he was finished, then he was leaving. And where'd he go? Down. He didn't, oh, as has been falsely taught, suffer the pangs of hell and, and uh, the consequences of all the sin and the shame, uh, you know, and, and the fire, he experienced the fire, as I've heard preachers say, who are ignorant. Uh, yeah, I've been in this... Uh, Long enough, I've been ignorant, I repented, and I, I got out of the ignorance, how may I understand? You know, once you learn truth, you gotta change your whole course of action in life. Uh, and then you get persecuted some more, uh, because you're, you're different now. All right, uh, how many know they tried to kill Luther? Uh, that's why he left the church. He, he didn't want to, you know, you know, the Lord's reformation was to change the church. See, Catholic is not an ugly name. How many know it means universal? Yeah, it was the original church as it went on, and then at the reformation it divided into all this mess that we have now out there, all these brands of, uh, Christianity based on what they believe and what they don't believe. Uh, well, we're called to believe the whole thing. How many understand? Yeah, all right. And the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, thank you, Jesus. See, but uh, you think about it, and, and, and you, gotta, you gotta think hard. Well, we need to be praying for, for people. Uh, in the churches, how many understand uh, that they come to the knowledge of the truth? This person I was talking to yesterday said, I've never heard about that uh, ever. And, and I said, I, I understand that and I know that's true. 
uh, I, I come from those kind of backgrounds. Uh, and, and we were lied to. Uh, out of ignorance, or uh, how many know that every uh, person who purportedly is sharing uh, the Word of God and talking about the Lord with people are accountable for every word and action they do and say, okay? To the Lord, every idle word, unproductive to God's purpose, uh, will be held accountable uh, to it. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, now, you know, you can ask God's forgiveness and he'll be faithful to forgive you. That's a promise. I'm going to understand. He doesn't intend for people to willfully continue uh, and, uh, knowingly uh, to do evil. All right? Uh, say, my opinion is evil. All right? The Lord doesn't care about your opinion, my opinion. He even told me that as much uh, one day. Uh, he, he wasn't rebuking me or, or anything. He was just speaking the truth. Am I understand? Uh, I shouldn't care about my opinion. How, how many have to have your right to say what you're going to say? Uh, okay, thank you for acknowledging that. Uh, the rest of you are liars. Because, uh, uh, you know, it's the truth. Because uh, uh, how many act on what you say? Oh, here we go. I'll forget it, Lord. Uh, all right. Understand what, what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Times are short. All right. Now, later, Peter, uh, uh, J Jesus ran across him after the resurrection and says, Peter, do you love me? That's his question he's asking him. And Peter flippantly says, you know I love you, Lord. No, he didn't know he loved you. How many understand? Except by the Holy Ghost who knows people's real hearts. Because many profess unfailing love, but a faithful servant who can find. Was Peter faithful when he denied the Lord three times to the point that I don't even know who the man is? No. See, you can't be flip about this stuff. You, you know, uh, happy thoughts aren't going to get you to heaven. How, how are we think, uh, doing? Positive thinking isn't going to get you to heaven. You've got to know that you were a sinner. And that Jesus came from the heavens to save you from being separated from the Lord and not going to with the devil and, and to go to hell. You gotta know that. And this uh, you know, means more than going to church once a week or twice a week or say, counting a bunch of beads and saying a bunch of hails and going to confession every week. Uh, uh, and, um, and, and a lot of times you're trying to think up what you did wrong because uh, what you did wrong, you, you just thought was normal. It is in a selfish person. How many understand? How many know you got to daily die to that old self, Paul says. He says, I daily have to put that down because the devil is trying to resurrect my old self so he can rule over me. But in Christ Jesus, he can't touch me. How many understand? And we have authority over the devil and over all the power of the devil, and nothing shall in any ways harm you. Luke 10, 19. I saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. He was kicked out. Say, but this is the problem with people. Why they're not thankful for their salvation is because they really think they're kind of a good person uh, and, and uh, aren't doing anything wrong uh, when they're selfish and greedy and, and manipulative. Well, they don't deserve it. Uh, well, <laughs> Do you? Uh, you know, uh, 
I had a point in my life uh, where uh, I always thought I could get along with everybody, but I, I found a, a few uh, true uh, tests. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm reading in the Psalms, and uh, David is saying, strike down my enemies, Lord, and, 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 and I'm, I'm thinking, ooh, that looks pretty good. Let, let's just get rid of them. And, and, uh, uh, and the Holy Spirit, thank God for the Holy Spirit. Uh, he's right there with us. He, he stepped up right away and said, David is wrong in what he was saying. How many know a third of the Psalms, uh, he's doing that kind of stuff uh, about uh, trying to preserve and save his life and, you know, strike down my enemies and, and, uh, uh, and preserve me. I'm righteous, Lord. You know, yeah, self-righteous, uh, uh, you know, and he doesn't even acknowledge when he had sinned uh, with Bathsheba for months that went on. He wouldn't even go to worship because he, was, uh, he felt guilt, but he didn't do anything about it. How many understand? Uh, to even the point of acknowledging it. My bones rotted within me until I acknowledged my sin, Psalm 32. Uh, uh, and 51 were written about that. Create me a clean heart, O God. Renew a right spirit within me. See, uh, yeah, you know, wow. Uh, Self-deceived. And, and that's the danger in these days we're in. Uh, we cannot be self-deceived. Uh, but has he not said it, will he not do it? I can't uh, just be one of those Christmas and Easter uh, uh, Christians, uh, you know, or, or worse yet, uh, I go every week, but I, I, I don't do the word. I hear it, but I don't do it. Um, you know, and, and you know, if the shoe doesn't fit, the Holy Spirit will, will, will show you. But if it does, uh, repent and turn uh, to, uh, and get it right here. I'm still trying to figure out why the whole body of Christ out there uh, hasn't got this straight about God's holy Sabbath, uh, which is part of loving the Lord. Huh? Wow. So they're all going to go to the empty tomb tomorrow. Uh, they're, they're all uh, going to have their sunrise service unless it rains, uh, you know, which has been known to happen. Uh, I think it was divine providence, maybe. Uh, but praise God, the fact is he is risen. And he has ascended back to his place as Lord of Lords. It's not Jesus the man oh, we're talking about, or the baby. You see uh, uh, the big statues uh, of Mary and holding the baby. Uh, you know, the cross is down here, and, and, and then this is up above it in a lot of the uh, uh, places of worship. Uh, and, and people don't know the difference. They parade down the streets. Uh, it's not about Jesus. It's about Mary. Well, what's the difference? We might as well have a Buddha sitting on there. Uh, how, how, how are we doing? Okay. Well, you're bashing. No, I'm not bashing. I'm saving. How many understand? Uh, people have got to know we were taught wrong and make the corrections. See, thank you, Jesus. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was glad when they said to me, let's go to the house of the Lord, because the Lord is in the midst. See, it doesn't talk about crowds. It talks about believers. The Lord's not concerned about churches being filled. He's concerned about holy people being in his churches, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. How many understand? And how are they going to hear about that? You know, I had a guy one time, uh, he sat through the service and he says, you know, Pastor, uh, afterwards he came down, he said, I feel so unworthy to be here because all these holy people are here. And, you know, and I'm doing this and doing that. And, uh, you know, 
And, and I, I looked at him and I started to laugh, you know, and I said, yeah, you, you see that person over there? They used to be a prostitute. Uh, yeah, you see that person over there? They used to drink till they didn't, were mindless. Uh, they, you, they, that one did drugs. Uh, and and, and, and he's, he's looking at me and his eyes are getting so big. Yeah, you know, and, and you know, how many know uh, a lie is, is just like a murder, okay, uh, in the Lord's sight. There aren't stages of, of degrees of sin. Unbelief is ultimately the worst. And what's pride all about? Self, unbelief. The Lord isn't the Lord, first love. See, he's looking for first love. He's a jealous God. And he's done everything to make that possible for us because he's removed all the other gods and Jesus alone is Lord, confirmed by the Father. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased hearing. Listen to him, do what he says. See, wow. And then he ascended back. Wow. Now, what happened to those hopeless, helpless disciples? They became the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pentecost happened and they all uh, got filled with the Holy Ghost and began to preach the gospel. And 3,000 were saved on the first day as the Lord set it up. Where'd their fear go? Taken away by the Lord. He made them believers. All right. Now, what's the resurrection all about? A hope and a future. All right. Ain't no grave going to hold this body down. Now, I love that song. You know. No, I'm not going to sing it right now. I get the drift. <laughs> Couldn't hold Jesus down, isn't holding down any believers in Jesus. See, but uh, there's uh, man's church and the Lord's church. See, and the Lord is separating the two. Even as I speak, it's happening out there. All right, preparing people for his return. Now, you got the faith in Jesus and uh, you're living uh, according to his word, you'll be safe. See, say, works follow saving faith. You can't say Jesus is my Lord and not have the fruit. You'll know them by their fruit, Jesus says. How many have noticed the difference in you? How many have noticed a difference in somebody else? Tell them. Boy, I'm sure glad you're not how you used to be. <laughs> I'm sure glad I'm not how I used to be. Because now I can appreciate you as you are now in Jesus. Always look for Jesus uh, in people, see, and uh, praise the Lord. I, I told that person I spoke with yesterday that uh, I just kind of left it with him. You know, I got so many more things to share. Uh, uh, if you want to hear them, just give me a holler. Let me know. All right. In other words, I'm not going to, you know, if you want to know, then ask. Okay, uh, we're available. Thank you, Lord. See, don't, don't shove it down, people. Uh, I, I may know that that's freaky enough that uh, 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 I'll tell a story and then we got a baptism. Uh, a fella, uh, was, his wife left him. Uh, he had a son. Uh, and he was trying to do something special with his son, you know, where they could kind of bond. 
Uh, how many know that's very important? That's more important than, than uh, giving them all kinds of stuff, uh, is that relationship uh, and, and being there and uh, bringing them to church, doing, doing the, the Lord things and uh, environment of the Spirit. And we help families grow in the Lord that way. Uh, we don't do it. Whose responsibility is it? The parents to uh, uh, train their children up in the way of the Lord. And so uh, he was doing all these things to make Christmas really special for his son. And, and uh, he was teaching them about Santa Claus and about uh, all, all the different things and uh, uh, the reindeer and, you know, and all. all. And, and I, I love festivity. I love celebration. The Lord's put it in people about celebration. Uh, see, but what are we celebrating? Uh, see, I, 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 I would, you know, boy, in time past as a little guy, I, I, I couldn't wait until um, Sunday morning and, and uh, uh, before church and I get my Easter basket. Whoa. <laughs> You know, and, and I made a mistake one time years ago. Uh, I said how much I love those little yellow uh, peeps, they call them. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, and that was when I was a child, uh, but as an adult, when, uh, you all are always so gracious and kind to me. And, I, and again, I thank the Lord so much for all of you during this last uh, ordeal that we we were going through, but the Lord has delivered us always out of it all until we're finished, uh, you know, but uh, uh, you're all so special that way. It's the Lord loving me through you um, and me loving you, uh, uh, him loving you through me. And, and uh, uh, but uh, I, uh, wow, my children, Oh, my children. I, I taught them about truth uh, and the importance of truth. Uh, and and uh, so um, they told this little kid all about Christmas. Uh, and it devastated the, the kid because, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Santa Claus is... Not, not real. Uh, no, no, nobody's dropping down through your chimney, uh, you know, and and uh, all this and that, and and uh, he, he came. Uh, he lived about three houses up the hill from me, and then he he came down the street, and you could almost hear him walking, uh, and. Uh, you know, and, and I, I saw him coming uh, up the drive and then to the front uh, door. And, uh, uh, and you, know, you know, there is a time when you could just not open the door. Uh, but, uh, you know, you, you want to kind of help people when they're in pain, uh, you know, and stuff. And, uh, and so, uh, he, he just lit into me about my children and how they destroyed his son's Christmas and, and uh, this and that. And uh, uh, I, 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 I knew what he was talking about, uh, you know. Uh, and I, I proceeded to, uh, I just asked him a question. It, you know, it's, it's apparent to me that that you really love your son and you want to have relationship with him uh, and that you've chosen Christmas to be something that's very important uh, in, in your and his life together, uh, you know, because mom was gone and, and uh, you know, uh, it's tough, uh, you know, uh, out there. And, and uh, wow, uh, and I said, but you know, to have a relationship with anybody, it's, it's, it's gotta be based on truth. 
it's got to be based on truth. We, can, we can't be, you know, lying to each other. Uh, and I, I said, you want to tell your son the truth about things, right? And, and you know, he, he said yes. And I, I said, well, then what we need to do uh, and it's good that you want relationship with your child, but uh, uh, it's got to be on truth. Uh, and, and so uh, uh, I'll give you, I'll give you uh, I asked him, well, what's Christmas really about? And, and he said, Jesus. And, and I said, that's right. It's about Jesus. That's all it's about. Uh, uh, in what we're celebrating. It's not all the trappings. It's not all the, you know, people go into hawk uh, for months afterwards a lot of times. Uh, you know, they go into debt about Christmas. Well, well, Christmas is about uh, giving. Uh, uh, the Lord gave his only begotten son for us. Uh, sent him. Uh, Jesus became a man for us. Uh, t to give us uh, life. Uh, in, in born of a virgin. How many know Mary had other children? Uh, see, his brothers and sisters came with his mom to take him away. They thought he had a Messiah complex or something. Uh, yeah, you know, they wanted to put him away. Uh, see, uh, you know, people have been taught lies. Uh, you know, and, and I'm done with lies. The devil's the father of all liars. Uh, you know, we're not liars. Uh, you know, check out everything I share. If it's not in the Word of God, then I'll correct it. How, how many understand? I'll adjust it. But if you don't understand something, certainly ask questions because otherwise the thief will take that true word away from you uh, as um, Mark 4 talks about will happen. Uh, see, and, and I said, I've got a little um, Jesus book here I'll give to you. And I gave him a little Jesus book. And you, go, you go home and, and you, uh, you love your son, you, you know, uh, and, and you just... Uh, be truthful with him uh, and, and uh, you know, care for him. Uh, you know, a lot of, we live in a day and age where people don't care for their children. They don't care for uh, themselves even. Uh, if they did, they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. Uh, they, they would come to Jesus and have some life abundantly. You know, uh, when I heard that yesterday, uh, this week uh, in my session, uh, you know, I, I was asked, uh, what about the, the fellow that authored this program? Uh, they said he committed suicide. And I'm thinking, well, what good was that? Now, we're all benefiting from uh, a marvelous uh, heart program, a marvelous diet, exercise, you know, and meditation program. But he was lacking the spiritual element, Jesus, because only Jesus can make your life complete and put it all together. And, and that's why right now, you know, right wherever you are in the world, you, know, you just uh, uh, receive the life of God in Jesus. All you got to do is, Lord, uh, I give up my old selfish life and ways. I humble myself before you. I acknowledge Jesus is my Lord and my Savior and that you love me, Lord, and gave yourself freely for me that I might have life. Uh, I put away all my religious works and dead works and trying to be good and trying to do, be a, a Christian and do whatever. And I receive my real life from Jesus. Lord, I believe uh, that everything you did was true. And, and I believe you did it for me and for all the people. And I receive the Jesus into my heart now, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. And, and he comes right into your heart. Um, See, you're not a sinner anymore. You're not separated from the Lord. You have the life of heaven. And all the promises of God are yes. 
And, and it will be just like the angels said at the uh, empty tomb. Why uh, are you seeking the living amongst the dead? He is risen just like he said. The Lord said it. I believe it. That settles it. I'm going to live accordingly to it. And that's it. I'm not going to believe anything else. See? Very important. And that man, you know, he went back to his son and he did what I said. Uh, I always am blessed and amazed when somebody does uh, what, we, what we say because they're going to be blessed. Uh, I mean, uh, their life's going to be blessed. And, and, and he, he shared uh, who Santa Claus really was. Uh, and, uh, you know, there was a fellow, St. Nicholas, how many understand, you know, a real person who went around doing good, but he didn't have any reindeer and he didn't come down in chimneys and, uh, you know, uh, didn't do all that stuff. Uh, uh, golly. Uh, I, I couldn't eat all those cookies. Uh, I'd be uh, 10,000 pounds. Uh, yeah, he's, they're waving offering envelopes at me because uh, they, they know we're, we're on the roll here. Uh, and, and God bless you for being hungry and thirsty for righteousness, uh, you know, uh, for wanting to hear truth. Uh, truth, Jesus says, John 8, 31, 32, if you continue in my word, you'll be my disciples indeed. You'll know the truth, and the truth will make you free. See, but this is the problem. People aren't hearing what the word of God says. They're hearing about the Lord. They're hearing, uh, like Job, I heard about you with the hearing of the ear. Uh, they're not seeing that, yeah, everything Pastor Andy is saying today, it's there. It's right there. So, you know, uh, that's how I approach the Word of God. If I see something that's there that I've been taught differently, as was the case, I had to change everything. It changed my whole life. I couldn't be a Lutheran pastor anymore. How many understand? Because uh, I, I couldn't uh, uh, do what, uh, uh, what they believed. Uh, and and it's, it's very interesting. I, and uh, uh, wow. Uh, then what do you do? Well, that's another day, another story, and uh, you can get a lot of them in, in the uh, 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 Servant of Christ book, one, volume one, uh, you can pick up online, or volume two online. I'm writing a volume three on the last year. This, is, this has been an amazing year. Uh, and the faithfulness of the Lord is so amazing and he will see us through whatever comes our way uh, because he is faithful and true. You know what's on his banner, on his uh, white horse as Revelation talks and he's coming in? Faithful, faithful, he's faithful. Wow, wow. Let's receive uh, the offerings today uh, and uh, let's get ready for the baptism. Stan, if you want to go, we've, we've got a, a little guy getting baptized today. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, a little blessing. If you're making a check, please make it to Glory to God Ministries. If you're giving online, glorytogod.org and PayPal. And make sure, I, you know, I, I just got a, a, a word that uh, somebody had sent in an offering and it went to some glory to God in Texas and never came here. Uh, wow. Um, you know, that's a sad thing. Uh, you know, and I, I, I'm believing that that... Uh, Want to be glory to God, um, you know, uh, you don't use piggyback on people's names. Uh, I mean, no, that's fraud, okay? 
people gave truly, uh, but it was received somewhere else that professed glory to God. Uh, yeah, golly, that's what copyrights are all about and whatnot in the world. But I'm going to a higher level of spiritual integrity. Uh, how can folk receive something that's not intended for them? How many understand? We would send it right away where it was intended to go uh, if it wasn't sent here. Uh, is that making sense? So, we have a test out there on the waters. Uh, how many believe that they're going to send it back where it belongs? All right. How many think they're going to just say, eh, they won't miss it? All right. Okay, we're not answering on that. Let's believe that they have integrity, all right, and do uh, what the Lord would have them to do with it. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Because this I learned a long time ago. You don't mess with the Lord's money, all right? That's like messing with a widow. Oh, man, you don't mess with a widow. Uh, the Lord will, will deal with you exceedingly abundantly well. And uh, he loves those he disciplines. But, you know, I don't believe that people that do that have a ministry. How many understand? Okay. Is that making sense? All right. Think about it. All right. Not as far as the Lord's concerned. He'll come back and say, hey, you know, you said you did this, you said you did that in my name, but I, I don't know who you are. Uh, depart from me, worker of iniquity. Yeah. Well, I know your offering is blessed. Special offerings blessed. Exceedingly abundantly over the top. Where is that little guy? Is he, are they taking him in here first, bringing? Okay, tell him I want him in here first. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I've known this guy since he was in Mama's hangar. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, long time family relationship with everyone. And, uh, they all love the Lord. And, we're all about his purpose, right? Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Want to hear another story? I have a few. Thank you, Lord. Did you get your um, a baptism certificate? Bring her baptism certificate, please. It's out, yeah. Uh, you want to put it where you can remember it, okay? Yeah. And you know, what, what happens in baptism is it's a, a public witness, a public witness of your faith in Jesus when you were born again, all right? Uh, it's uh, repent and be baptized, see? And with that is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and then be baptized. And, and so when you're born again, your spirit comes alive to God. You're resurrected from the dead. Uh, you have a spirit, mind, and a body. That's how the Lord makes us up, all right? Before Jesus, you have a mind and a body, uh, but your spirit is dead to the Lord. Now, what the devil tries to do is fill that spirituality with all kinds of false beliefs and counterfeits, okay? But they have no life, they have no power, they have no purpose, because within people is a desire about the Lord, about God. Uh, you know, it's in people, but 
they don't know who or what or why. Uh, yeah, you know, they just know there's something, something. She's uh, right there. Um, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Uh, and uh, when you're you're born again, it's all about Jesus, uh, and that's where the life of heaven comes. That's what the Lord's only plan for salvation to be with Him. All right, heaven and earth is passing away. The word of God's not passing away. Jesus is the Lord, and we're not going to pass away because we're believing in Jesus. That's right. right? Yeah, I do that a little myself. Who is your Lord? Jesus. Christ is my Lord. Christ is my Lord. Yeah. All right. Now, so where's Jesus in your life? In my heart. He's in your heart. All right. See, and that's what it's all about. Uh, and... In the Bible, it calls this, your spirit, uh, oftentimes, the heart. It's the real you. It's the real you, not the physical heart. It's this, the spiritual heart. Uh, you see, and when you die, um, this body just goes dust to dust, uh, you know. Uh, and people always ask, well, what about uh, cremation? Hey, it's just ash to ash. Uh, it's not you. It's not the person. Don't go out and spend a fortune on uh, uh, that. Uh, you know, spend it on them while they're alive. <laughs> See? Because their spirit goes immediately to paradise. Today you're going to be with me in paradise, the Lord told the thief on the cross. Today. You're going to be with me in paradise. See, uh, immediately, bam. Uh, either to be with the Lord, or, or if they die not believing in Jesus, as the other thief on the cross went to the other place, a uh, place of torment, uh, looking forward to more torment to come. Okay? Now, when you were water baptized, the old. All about me, Tristan is dead, gone, buried with Jesus when you go under the water. What do you think of that? Good. What's that? Good. It's good, yes. It's absolutely good. Because without that, uh, you're a compromised person, and the Lord didn't make us to be schizo. How many understand? You're, you're not part Christian on the days I feel like it, and on the other days, I do what I want. Uh, no, no, no. When I say Jesus is my Lord, that means that he rules my life, okay? What he says goes. And he says, honor your father and your mother that it may be well with you and you'll live long on the face of the earth. Say, that's a promise. That's a commandment. Which commandment? How many have been taught it was the fourth commandment? Let me see the hands. All right, how many weren't taught the commandments? All right, okay. So it's the fifth commandment, but in every catechism, it will read the fourth commandment. You know what the fourth commandment is? Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall a man work, and the seventh declare holy to the Lord. See, people change the commandments of God by papal decree. <laughs> change the commandments of God. In the writings, that person has the right to change the commandments of God. Well, the Lord never gave them the right. People did. How many understand? They did to themselves. The devil did. See? Because the Lord's commandments are holy and just and true and eternal. Never change. Never change. Thank you, Lord. 
So, are you going to stay under the water? Yes. No. <laughs> he gave me the look. <laughs> no, you're not going to stay under the water. Uh, otherwise, I'd have to meet up with you in paradise. <laughs> When you come out of the water, like Jesus was raised from the dead, we are raised from the dead to a new life in the Lord. Whole new life, resurrection power, okay? And you're gonna learn God's word like you're doing, and mom's teaching you there, and grandparents and all of us. what do you learn in church school today? About Jesus. Nice and loud. About Jesus risen on the cross. Jesus on the cross. Jesus on the cross. And what's that mean? He risen. He is risen. Yeah, he didn't stay on that cross. I'm glad you don't have one of those crosses with Jesus still hanging on it. Uh, you know, he is risen. And you are risen to a new life when you come out of that water. Now, the water itself isn't holy water. Say so there's no such thing. All right. It's faith in Jesus that makes that water of effect. How many understand? Okay. That's what makes a baptism valid. Uh, a lot of folks say, well, what about that thief on the cross? He wasn't baptized. Uh, and Jesus said he was going to be today with Jesus in paradise. All right. Uh, what about him? Uh, well, it's faith in Jesus that saves. How right. many understand? The baptism is an act of obedience to the Lord that uh, is the outward witness and sign that we have received Jesus into our heart. Okay, so sometimes uh, folk don't have opportunity. It's also not the amount of water That's used. All right. Now this, oh, I'm going to take heat on this one uh, from the uh, Christian community. Uh, see, because again, it's faith in Jesus that saves. All right. Now the best representation of that is down under the water. Okay. Dead buried with Jesus. All right, but I've had times in the hospitals where all we could do is put some water, all right? And then they were going to the Lord. They received Jesus and, and they, we baptized them. Uh, and they're with the Lord, how many understand? Okay. So don't get caught up in all this stuff out there. That's how all the churches have broke up into so many different branches. All right, some believe this, some don't believe that, some believe that, okay? So are you ready? Yes. Yes. Who is your Lord again, nice and loud? Jesus. Christ is my Lord. Say Christ that. is my Lord. Yeah, yeah, so you gotta say that, all of it. All right, why? Because that's what it says to do, that if we confess Jesus Christ as our Lord, believe in our hearts he's risen from the dead, we will be saved, okay? God's gift, okay? You all set? Okay, you're gonna go right out there and we're gonna see you uh, on the, the screen in here, and uh, yes, give the Lord praise.
Yes, praise the Lord. So good, so good. Oh, resurrection. Oh, I thank God I don't have to get up early uh, to go out there uh, and do that. But I love celebrating with all the folk. That's it. Go, Grandpa. That's it. Good to see you. Yeah, 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 Grandpa. Wow. When you're younger, you don't ever think about being a grandpa. But uh, what a privilege. What a privilege. Whoa, look at that. We are ready. You know, that's one of the blessings of coming okay, together in church. We encourage Heavenly each Father, other. Heavenly Father, we thank you there we go. for today, Lord, that Tristan has made a decision to get baptized, to fulfill all righteousness, Lord, to be obedient to you. Father, we thank you so much for your presence here and all the witnesses here, Lord. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We praise you and thank you so much, Lord, for your glorious love for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, you ready? Here, honey, hold that. You want to take pictures? You can go over there because he's going to be facing that way. You got it. Yeah, let's get a picture. Memories. I love pictures. Uh, memories. Good memories. Yeah. Get rid of the gum. Tristan? Yes. I want you to tell everybody out there who your Lord is. Nice and loud. Jesus Christ. Say it loud. Jesus Christ. You hear that? Yes. Jesus yes. Christ. All right. Yeah. Hold your nose. Maybe better hold your nose. Tristan, yeah. we baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name yeah. of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So it begins, it happens, you know. It's so exciting, so exciting. Yeah. A lot of times on uh, Resurrection Day, the, they, uh, the church through the history would do baptisms on, on, on this time and whatnot. And, and uh, you know, because we like to celebrate. People like to celebrate. But what we celebrate, it has to be something real and true. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, you know, we have testimonies coming in all the time what the Lord's done for folk. It's, it's just uh, wonderful because it's like he said. You know, we expect them. How many understand? Uh, you know, uh, they're not uh, an exception. They're the norm. Uh, it's part of uh, being a, a Christian, a believe in the Lord because he's not a man that he's lying about stuff and son of man that he changes his mind. Has he not said it? Will he not do it? Has he not promised? And will he not fulfill? It's got to happen. It's got to happen. Thank you, Lord. See, it just got to happen. Um, so why? Because he said so. Uh, bottom line, uh, you know, uh, you know, I, I, in the old uh, 101 uh, Dalmatians, uh, Corolla Deville, you know, uh, uh, she it was about what she said so. Because I said so. Uh, you know, how many parents have, have uh, used that one? Uh, because I said so. Uh, you know, why, why, why do I have to do this? Because I said so. Uh, you know, well, that's fine uh, when, when, they're, when they're little. Uh, see, because they don't even know what's, uh, you know, right or what's good. They don't know life. And, and really, even teenagers haven't experienced really life uh, out there. Uh, 
you, you know, and, and, and uh, I guess uh, even 70, 80 year olds don't know what it's all about a lot of times, uh, you know, because uh, we need the Lord's wisdom and insight at every point of life uh, that we're in. Uh, see, I, I, I just, you know, when I heard that uh, yesterday about uh, the head of that program, uh, you know, uh, see, because he was dying is what it was all about. And so he went on a search to, uh, he went around the world uh, to find out, you know, what, why some people lived longer, what made the difference in people's lives. And, 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 I, and I, I thought, you know, well, that's, you know, that's awesome, you know, and, and, uh, and he learned this and he learned that about uh, eating, uh, you know, uh, longevity of life, uh, you know, styles, see, uh, you know, a lot of folk, uh, in, well, America, people die earlier than other places. How many understand? Because yeah, of our, our styles and have uh, diseases that other places don't even have. Uh, uh, you know, and and uh, he learned all about all these things, and 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 uh, then uh, uh, when I, oh uh, golly, people need Jesus. They they just need Jesus. I mean, wow, you can learn all these things and 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 die and not have Jesus. So what a horrible, horrible thing that would be. Uh, you know, and and I I, I just uh, thought about that, you know, because it's so uh, about what we're celebrating here. I, I celebrate the resurrection every moment of every day of my life, uh, you know. Uh, you know, but people they make days. Thanksgiving, golly, I celebrate Thanksgiving every day of my life, uh, every moment of my life. I'm thankful. Uh, you know, you know it, it's not you pick a certain day. Uh, you know, even your birthday. Uh, you know, how, how many know when the day when you were born again? All right. Don't, don't don't be ashamed if you don't remember it, uh, you know. But you know, I'm not asking it for that purpose. Uh, you know, I'm I'm just saying, you know, if we're going to remember any day, that should be our birthday. Uh, see, that's the, the day. But you know, like I say, don't don't you know? People fault themselves. That's that old religious spirit that's always guilting you. And, and shaming you and making you feel stupid. Uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Anybody been there and done that? And, uh, you know, golly, uh, we don't need that. Uh, see, uh, you know, but we do need to know that I was a sinner. And, and you need to know when you sin uh, uh, and, and be, uh, that's when you feel the guilt and the shame, because I don't want to ever trample underfoot the blood of Jesus, willingly, knowingly, nor continue to do it. See, that person is, uh, 1 John 3 says, they're not of God, they're of the devil, and they need to know uh, the difference. But don't take sin lightly. On the other hand, don't run around beating yourself up all the time because sin is the exception. Say, I used to be a sinner, but the Lord's made me holy and washed me in the blood. And now that's where you think, you know, like Joseph, how can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? I can't do this. Uh, no, no, that's not who I am. I, I'm a... Uh, cleaned up sheep. I, I don't go into the mud because the mud's going to uh, cause death possibly to me. Okay, if I willfully, knowingly continue. Uh, all right, it's not a sheep's nature to go into the mud. 
It's a pig's nature. How many understand? You can dress them up, put bows on them, scrub them down, clean them all up, and guess where they're going to head? Right to that mud. Uh, they're, they're going to go for it. That's their nature. All right? Thank you, Lord. All right. Uh, uh, you uh, need uh, to come to the Lord's heavenly ATM today. Uh, and receive from the Lord uh, a come on down. Care guys, we want to meet with you briefly uh, just after and, and uh, for a few minutes. Uh, and I say a few minutes this time. Uh, uh, but uh, feel free, otherwise, dismissed with blessing. In the name of Jesus, Father, give to your people what they need today, uh, wherever they are on the earth, Lord. I thank you that you are uh, a good Lord who loves us and has supplied over the top for each and every one in Jesus' name. We receive your life and your goodness uh, every day, Father. We thank you for your wisdom, understanding, and, and for your presence, uh, Lord. In, in your presence are your presence. And help us to give them out to others as you have given freely to us. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord.